Cheers, dude. <laughs> well, I would describe my staff as... <laughs> hey, that's my shot, that's my shot, that's my time, that's my time. Is that be recorded? Because like... Well, it was recorded. Oh, fuck man, that sucks, dude. <laughs> it just feels like skiing, man. We just love to do this shit. Oh my god! You got a white butt, man. This is AMR. No 40 year olds allowed in this establishment. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can I keep doing what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm gonna keep okay. What well, brought me to Breckenridge? Um, I was going to college at the time, and Garrett, who also works here, um, we grew up together. But as soon as I came out here, I went home and I dropped out and. Got my stuff together and was like, I'm moving to Colorado. It was pretty much a point on a map and I just decided, you know what, like I'm, I'm gonna go for it. It's gonna see what happens. I just wanted to be a ski bum for a season. Four years later, still here. For me, uh, it was, Breck was the first resort that allowed snowboarding. Really kind of piqued my interest. Being kind of a dirt bag, just felt home. 1996, I uh, was getting in trouble in Chicago and decided to move to Colorado. Actually lived in this cabin for eight years. There was no running water. It was this old miner's cabin. We had water that run, ran right through the yard and I was pretty proud of that because I drank right out of the creek for eight years. But uh, eventually moved down to town and kind of been here since. I moved to Breckenridge uh, for year-round skiing in 1982. Got out of college and uh, couldn't find a job, and so I thought, you know what, I love Breckenridge. Been here a couple of summers before that, and I had such a great time, I just never left. And I've been here since then, so since 82, 83 winter. You know, Breck always had an allure. It was the town and the resort. You know, you don't, you don't find that a lot of places. So. The amount of people you come in contact with that are from all over the world, and you just, form really tight bonds with these people that you can go visit and it's amazing. Breckenridge has something that not every one of these resorts does, which is a real town that dates to the 1850s. There were more people living here um, in the early 1900s than there are now. It's authentic. Of the ski bums who are left, you know, a handful of them work here at AMR. You know, this is the core you know, local shop where everyone here is passionate, skiing every day. I've made it so I work most of the time on weekends and I've got Monday through Thursday off to just enjoy the mountain and enjoy living up here. That's why we do it. There is a real town and a real core group of skiers and snowboarders. There are people who care just as much about going skiing every day as, as we do. And, and that is something that I love so much about Breckenridge. Well, as normal, with ski patrol, we have to wait for them to make sure everything is safe. Like, I don't want to get caught in an avalanche. So we just pretty much ran up the six hike when they dropped the road. Sean and I were the first two out. We're definitely the first out on six senses right now.
Dude, that was fucking so <laughs> worth it. The first question Dave asked me in an interview was, uh, do you ski or snowboard? The second question was, how many days a year do you ski? The people that work for me are skiers. That's important to me. And it just really helps to make you feel like when you come in here that you're in a, a real ski shop where people actually are involved in what we're doing. Dave has just established uh, a culture here at AMR different than anything else where he's not nickel and diamond everyone. Um, he's in this business to get people skiing. So we hook up all the locals. It's just good vibes working here. There's just this vibe about this shop that's like really core. It's still like the last mon pa shop. I would say, you know, it's, it's definitely not for everybody. You walk in here, you see dogs roaming around. You see people with a beer in their hand. You know, it might smell a little funky in here at times. The first night I worked here, I probably drank 12 beers and finished maybe four of them. <laughs> there was random beer sitting all over the shop. When I first moved out here in the early 80s, when I first started living here year round, um, I worked in a ski shop, and back then we had like wine and cheese parties for the, for the guests. And that was sort of what was going on in the ski industry back then. You'd be going up the chairlift and you'd hear schnapps, you know, and people would be like, you know, just passing it around. People had motor bags, and that was sort of the way skiing was in the 80s. He has never tried to push the button that would change this culture in AMR, you know? We are still doing everything completely by hand. It works out so much easier for everybody involved. And then as you can see, Aaron is on the only computer in shop, and that's just so that we can buy stuff for ourselves. We get bored throughout the day, so we want to search the internet for new gear. We're ski bumps, like, what else would you expect? It makes me look great because my two dogs are in here all the fucking time. And they remember the dogs before they remember me or probably anybody else. They're like, oh, this dog was here last year, right? <laughs> I mean, you got to I'm, I'm his owner, I was too, but yeah. <laughs> it's the culture here. It's the first time I ever walked in. There was four dogs here. As employees, we get to bring our dogs in and it really helps us out. Especially like me, I have a little puppy. So bring, being able to bring her here, I don't have to worry about her peeing and pooping at my house. Shit in our shop. Yeah, just let her shit here, you know? No, 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 no. But then, even more important is the customers. People just come in off the streets because there's dogs in here, and then when you're in here going through the rental process, like, everything goes by faster because there's dogs. The fact that we're all allowed to just simply be ski bums for however many hours we work in this shop is why it is a very unique place to work. T-Bar baby, beautiful morning. Got some serious wind buff on any given day. It can and be super blower in the high alpine. Ski nice and creamy and super smooth, so it's awesome. Woo! Good to see you too, dude. It's been a couple of weeks since we did this. Yeah, I'd say so. Probably since like the first week of February. And this is why. Oh, good hell. You good?
good? Ow! <laughs> I'm gonna head over and head up Imperial and uh, take a little ride on the magic carpet. Dave Stillman in one word. <laughs> mm. uh, I would say noble. Badass. A unique individual. Legend, for sure. Local legend. I'm just gonna say Dave himself. That's who all he's ever been. That's why we all like him as a boss. It's just crazy. This is why, this is why he's so unique, because he could be making millions a year and he's not. He has prime real estate. He could have easily sold out to Vail. It's walking distance from the gondola with an empty parking lot literally right out the door. And he has stayed true to just, I'm here to ski and that's all I want to do. Dave has been stand up for that since the dawn of time. I mean, you can go ask locals across the board. He wouldn't even own his ski shop if he couldn't ski. It's basically his, it's his clubhouse, it's his locker. It's, he, he just does it because he wants to go ski. He's always in the like, top 10 for all the Epic Mix stats. I don't know anybody else at the age of 62 that goes out and rips every day just because he loves it. He's an inspiration for sure. <laughs> I've worked up at a ski shop up at Beaver Ramp from 82 to like 89 to 90. So after I left that, I came down here to work for these guys and I started managing AMR. And after 10 years of being in the ski business, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I need a real job where I can work and actually maybe survive from year to year and not get unemployed in every April. I borrowed money and I bought the ski shop, got in as the owner and I was in like 94, 93, 94 season and I've owned it since then. For me, it's just easier to ski every day. If I take a day off or if I take a couple of days off, it moves me back. Probably one of the few ski shop owners in this town that skis as many days as I do, but, uh, but I'm still plugging away on it and I still love it. Well, I would describe my staff as um, intelligent, hardworking, um, committed. They love climbing and they love mountain biking and such a variety of, uh, of outdoor extreme sports. It's what makes them good people. They're committed to their lifestyle and, uh, and I'm committed to that too. But ultimately, everyone who works in here sees the magic and you just feel like you're pretty close to the pulse of skiing when you're standing in here. 
I really appreciate being here with these guys and I love them all and they become family. I love it here. This is a family. Like, drop of the hat, anybody on that call list will take care of you. You know, we all make it work and are pretty much like a family. Like, I'm not gonna let anything happen to any of the people that I work with. I mean, even though we mess with each other here all the time, it's a really supportive structure. Even back in the day, I was a snowboarder, which is, you know, kind of bottom of the food chain. <laughs> <laughs> Most people sometimes work hard. I'm gonna touch tips if you try to push you over. There's a big hairy man ape ass right behind you. <laughs> it's poor, it's poor girlfriend, man, Kayla. I can't. <laughs> Play rapper B O B. Shuffling songs by Bob Dylan. What We go out and ride together and everybody's cheering each other on and you know that like everybody has your back and want to see you like send the next biggest, baddest thing. Oh man, uh, they're some of my best friends. We love skiing, we love drinking beer, and we love having a good time. And I'm very proud that I can sit here and say, I started here in 2002, it's 2020, and I still pick up shifts at AMR. Ha 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 ha!